Hi, I'm Virginia Toledo. And I'm Jessica Geller of Toledo Geller Interiors, and we are so excited to welcome you to our new project reveal, Living in Color. Join us for a tour as we share all of the colorful ideas that we had for this family who loves to entertain. Come follow us. Located right off of the foyer is our client's family room. The hub of the home, we found out that they do not spend as much time as they would have loved to spend in this room. Primarily because it was right off of the foyer and they felt as if the room was sort of on view and it didn't feel cozy enough right. for them to really hang out here. So one of the first things that we did here was we created a more enclosed space. Prior to this, it had columns, it was much wider opening, and we closed a portion of that off and we added these custom, beautiful leather doors trimmed out with a nail head detail. So even if they stay open, it really feels a lot more enveloping and cozy in this space. And why did we think we could actually upholster doors with nail heads and make them that luxurious? Uh, our client is the answer to that. She has truly been the inspiration to so many of the decisions we have made on this project. She is a risk taker. She is a trendsetter. Uh, and so we've always looked to her and her personality and her entertaining style and the decisions we've made throughout the home. Another thing that we did to make this room feel cozier is we covered the walls in a wool wallpaper. So it's very subtle, but you can definitely feel the difference in here. Another really cool feature here is the custom wall of built-in cabinetry. That's we right. covered the inset panel with a suede fabric. So again, texture, texture, texture. The reason here in this room that everything really is neutral is because as the central spot in the house, all of this bold color that we want unfolding from this space is going to be grounded by the neutrality in here. So of course we do have our pops of color here with and this everyone saffron, can go on with the sectional. saffron sectional, yes. <laughs> and some touches of that awesome purple color in here as well, which you will see unfold in many different elements in the house. But this is really this common ground that's going to set the stage for what's to come and also hold it down as the neutral space in this house. We knew from the very beginning that this foyer needed to set the stage for whatever was going to unfold from here. So there's lots of elements that speak to the style and speak to the little hint of wow that's about to come, starting with the front door, which was not going to be just any front door. It's this beautiful panel design, this wallpaper that we had custom made. We did this, we started this project in phase one, probably about eight years ago. Yeah. and. That included the foyer and two girls' bedrooms. And then we knew from that moment this foyer was going to be the storyteller for the entire house. So this custom wallpaper that we designed, we labored over making the selections of that color. The chartreuse was so important. That's right. The tangerine, the mm -hmm. orange, yes. All of it was so important. And you can see there's embroidery uh, within some of the floral detail, which is what makes it elevate from any kind of mural wallpaper. And we knew that the client was going to host a lot of parties here. And with that, we could see some of her guests flowing in and out of this space as much as they would be in the dining room, in the family room, and now the bar room, which didn't exist at the time right. we designed this space. And so with that, we had to take an opportunity to create uh, moments that someone can perch to have a cocktail and feel like they are still in a space that's appropriate for entertaining while still being in the foyer. We found an opportunity to create a custom banquette that hugs the staircase in this very soft curved shape and we had to have some fun with color on there so we used this teal color with a chartreuse embroidery to encourage guests to come and take a seat. Next up is our client's home office. Again, we have custom millwork here where we were allowed to get a little creative. So while we needed to accommodate storage uh, and an ability to display some of their decorative objects, we wanted to have a little bit more fun here and used color again. So this time the husband got to have a little bit of say. Blue is his color. We have 
infused all of the other colors that we see throughout the house in doses here as well. But the main star of the show here is this blue stained wood. This isn't, we told them we can't just paint the wood blue, it has to be stained yeah. to have that caliber of the rest of the house. Right, so you see the beautiful wood grain come through and it's really not an easy process to get natural wood to stain this deep level of indigo that we've used here. And all of that is contrasted with this awesome sofa that fits in just perfectly in this beautiful shade of green. And of course, that purple aubergine color makes its way here. So. Earlier we referenced how we had to keep weaving colors into different rooms in order to create some harmony throughout the space. And this is just another example of how we were able to integrate the color purple in here in a subtle way, but that feels super cohesive with the adjacent rooms. And this room has become a cozy hangout for the family as well. This was another underused room that they thought they would never use, but they said, we'll turn it into a home office. But in fact, they love spending time in here. We always say people love small spaces. We are den creatures. And this is case in point. It's a cozy feeling in here and it feels very different from the other rooms in the house. No, you're not at the hottest new lounge in New York City. You're in our client's bar room in the suburbs of New Jersey. <laughs> Our clients inspired us to design this bar room for them and they were ready to take their entertaining style up quite a few notches. So this has now become the place to host and entertain. They use it all year round, all day long <laughs> and all night long um, because it is just not your typical bar that you'd find in a home. It's not just a bar built into part of the wall, it's really this whole room is a lounge. Uh, so in order to get that vibe going here, we took one color, really floor to ceiling, as you can see, and developing that color was an inspiration from our client. She loves bold color and aubergine is what she called this. We have it on the walls, the ceiling, the bar behind us, and the custom built sectional that's also in this room. You know how when you go to your favorite bar or restaurant you have high hopes for the bathroom design? It's like, I'm going to the bathroom, want to go? That <laughs> thing? So we had to do the same thing in this house. Because we knew that our client would be entertaining big time in her home, we had to have the bathroom design not play second fiddle to all of the fun spaces that had been crafted. So we decided to go with a bold floral pattern that really pulls in every single color that you could possibly expect to see in this house on the walls. And we pulled out an emerald green for the vanity and the floor is in a whimsical small checkerboard pattern. Come follow us into the kitchen. So this kitchen needed to be a really functional kitchen for our client. She cooks all the time. Whenever we've come for a site visit to check on the project, she is always combing through her cookbooks and picking up the perfect recipe for her family for that night or that weekend. She also always has a beautiful spread to welcome us. She is just the ultimate hostess. So we knew that this kitchen needed to accommodate everything for her. Right. So in addition to having all the right appliances and enough surface space to prep, as well as to set up buffets and things like that, it also had to have a lot of style. So unlike many utilitarian kitchens or the all white kitchens, which are lovely, this kitchen had to be as dynamic as the adjacent spaces. So with that, we custom designed a marble floor tile for the floor and used a beautiful natural stone countertop material that has this wonderful veining and we also had a little fun with the edge detail on the island. Here we also wanted to pay a lot of attention to details and we went with a really beautiful blush pink color on the ceiling to really warm up the space. The kitchen cabinets also have a really warm wood tone mixed in with some of that white color. And the seating area has a punchier pink and a little bit of that emerald green that we've seen that you'll see woven throughout this home. 
In addition to the cushions and the banquette having that emerald green, we also use that wonderful color on the bar stools here. The bar stools get a lot of use here. It's a big family and as we've mentioned, a lot of entertaining. So this bolster shape on the back is super supportive and comfortable for long chats at the night. When we first met our client many, many years ago, she told us that she loves to host dinner parties. This is a dining room that gets used almost every single week. So we wanted to give her something that was practical, but also able to turn it up and feel formal in the drop of a hat. So we went with a bold black color on a lot of the paneling around the room on the ceiling trim as well and we wanted to do that so that we have a fun play with the formality but then above that you can see it's a little bit more whimsical with okay. this orange little checker pattern that we have here and to add another detail that we knew we needed in this house was a very pale blush pink on the ceiling so not only is it beautiful and really makes the room glow but when people are here dining it makes them all shine and have that beautiful glow to their skin as well. That's better than that. You look your best at this dinner party. And another thing that we played with here and that I think sort of supports the drama is the contrasting color. So as Jessica referenced, this dark paneling on the wall contrasted with a much lighter wall covering above, the very dark, deep, a moody color sort of rug underneath contrasted with this oval custom table in this sort of sun bleached textured finish. That color purple has woven its way yet into another room and here it's found in the custom rug that we are standing on with a contrasting and very sort of unusual color mix, the tangerine. Welcome to the primary bedroom in the home. This room needed to be luxurious and of course have an element of color, but obviously it's where we rest. We have to have it all toned down a little bit. So we knew immediately that pale blue is the right color for it, but instead of just small doses, of course we did it in a big way. Right, so you'll see that shade found in the color of the carpeting, the wallpaper, along with the custom built-in cabinetry in the room. And the built-in cabinetry here is a real problem solver. We wanted to give the wife the walk-in closet all to herself, and so the built-in cabinetry that's within the bedroom didn't exist here. We saw a really great opportunity to take some of this extra space and make it all the storage for his things. So you'll see there's his suiting and his shoes. All of his items are concealed behind these panels, but it really looks like almost like a piece of furniture. Right, and it was really in an area that was underutilized. It's a space flanking the entry doors, and besides putting art on those walls, they didn't have anything else on those walls. So it, you're absolutely right, it was a problem solver. You can see we're in a space that is super voluminous and a designer trick is to always use, or when you can, and when your client gives you creative liberty, to use a canopy or four poster bed in order to create a room within a room, we like to say. And so as Jessica mentioned, Blue was the color of choice in this room, but we wanted to do something a little different. And so we used a painterly stripe in a black and white colorway for the upholstery on that canopy bed. And one thing that you may notice throughout this home tour is that our client loves leopard print. And so we've used it here in an inconspicuous way. It's not an in-your-face leopard print, but it is a nod to her love of the wild cat. We're standing in the primary bathroom. You've experienced the primary bedroom and how soft and serene the vibe was in that space. And in this room, we had to turn up that notch again as we've done in the rest of the house. Some of these decisions were very easy to make early on because of how daring our client is in the exploration of different materials. And so 
That color purple has shown up in a few spaces in the house and here we went super crazy with it. So we took lilac marble and the same way we've used color in a big way from floor to ceiling in the other rooms, we did the same thing in here. The way we changed it up was by adding a pencil liner around the room in a little bit in a more modern way. And we continue the tile above that with yet another liner above that. And one thing that we knew we needed to nail from the beginning was that our client was very specific with the color of the vanity that oh. we see here. The vanity we, color. <laughs> she wanted it to be like a fleshy pink color and it took a lot of samples yeah. to get it right. Don't try this at home kind of thing. Hire a professional to get that perfect shade. Yeah. In this space, we knew we couldn't just use a ready-made vanity because of the caliber of the home, but also because of all the storage needs we wanted to address. In the design of this built-in uh, cabinetry, we were able to accommodate a his section, a her section, as well as a makeup area. and really spoke to the client about all of the storage needs in terms of what they were storing, how much makeup, and so on and so forth. In the end, we have a variety of hidden storage spaces that are super inconspicuous and sort of just go away with all of the paneling, along with a ton of mirrors and beautiful ambient sconce lighting. And this bathroom is all about the little details. So the sink is not just a plain sink, it has a really special texture to it. The floor is heated, because how could you have a bathroom to this scale without a heated floor? And of course, the metal detail on the soaking tub behind us. It's just a regular white tub just would be like, okay, that's fine. Right. We wanted it to be more than fine. Right, now it's like the jewelry in the room.